This is the first year they have had raised beds at the Gospel Mission in Grants Pass. They've produced an estimated 3,600 pounds of food, and it's obvious they're still going strong. It's a very, you know, <laughs> it's a very nice. Look, very fresh, everything, everywhere. Strawberries in November. That's how good Bill Perez is. See, very green, yeah. no dye. His garden might even make Eden a little envious. See, now full, look, everywhere, right there. Bill came to the Gospel Rescue Mission a year ago, fighting an addiction to drugs and alcohol. I clean, I do this job. It's very good for me, you know. I've got Bill Perez out here every morning with a hose, and he's out here watering this thing by hand every single day. Very hot, very hot, this one. I got a lot of jalapeno over there. I got a tomatillo. Uh, I got a cilantro, I got a, any kind, any kind of different jalapeno. Yeah, I got it too many. Very hot jalapeno. Once Bill grows it, it doesn't have to go far. A good majority ends up in the mission's kitchen. This is right from our garden right today. These guys can look in there and find something and put together some of the best meals, you know, very hearty and very healthy too. Three days after David Stevens arrived at the rescue mission to kick an 18-year meth addiction, he got the job as kitchen supervisor. Green bell peppers from our, and some reds uh, from our garden. He helps manage the food that comes in and the cooks who work with it. You get a lot more enjoyment out of making it fresh. You can see that when he busts out a meal, he's, he's taking pride in what he's making. Of course, there are plenty of quick options. You still see the powdered potatoes, but when they have a soup or, or a sandwich or, or a salad that we made, all right, something big and hearty that we made, they get, I can see they get more enjoyment out of that than they do out of like a slice of pizza. Everything is always made pretty much from scratch here, actually mostly from scratch. Resident Greg Cook was homeless and thinner until recently. He gained about 10 pounds in about two and a half, three weeks. You get three meals a day. I mean, granted, you got to get up at 5.30 to have breakfast. But <laughs> Other than that, you know, yeah, it's not, being on the streets, you know, you never know where your next meal is coming from. Here, you know, you're going to eat three times a day and it's healthy. We're seeing a lot of people trying to kick heroin, a lot of people trying to kick speed, uh, methamphetamines. It's like right away, the light goes on, you start seeing an improvement. The change is dramatic. Greg might be joining the kitchen staff soon. He has just a little bit of French culinary training. I'm a Le Cordon Bleu chef. I'm not going to step on any toes. These guys know what they're doing. And they're good. It, it, got it, it got it inside, the fruit, see? And eventually, when Bill heads back to Puerto Rico to be with his family, someone will have to take over in the garden. As so far, no one has showed quite as green a thumb as Bill. Maybe too much work. It's not too much work for me. It's good. I like it. Well, there's nothing more satisfying than, than serving something that you just grew right out of the garden. We have about 150 residents, plus a, a, the rest of transient traffic. They're hot meals, they're good meals, they're healthy, they're nutritious. So much better for you, all from just good local whole foods. My body's very good now. I bought fat now, you know, <laughs> it's skinny, you know. The mission is serving about 5,000 of those meals a month, and they're changing lives, leaving a legacy, one tomato, one pepper, and one tomatillo at a time. In Grants Pass, Aaron Maxson, Newswatch 12.